Okay, here's a quick demo of the hospital project so far. Um, I'm using Fraps right now. Uh, it's image uh, or video recording software. It's not quite ideal because uh, I can't show you uh, the scripts window, which would be over here. Um, it might, might make more sense if you could see it, but we'll just have to go with this for now. So, what we've been doing is we have a node network set up for the hallway here and it will read in the log files okay um, the AI script will take care of the offsets in the hallways so if he's in a big hallway like this he will always go to the right, but when he's going in between a small alleyway like this, the offset is turned off. And we also have smooth turning enabled. And let me go ahead and play it. Show an example here. So we have Simon walking in a short hallway and then the doctor he'll take this route and we can just watch him walk across here so he'll get to this node and then we'll just call an idle animation and he'll just stop there. So there was a crossfade from the walk to the idle. Um, I didn't get a good shot on it but you can see it when you're actually playing the game or running the simulation. Okay, so one of the problems we're running into is the log files only have characters, like only one or two characters running around the hallways at any given time. Um, one of my ideas is to maybe layer on multiple log files to up the density, but so far throughout all the log files there's only maybe one or two characters in the halls at any given time. But um, that might be alright because the player really could only observe one alcove at a time. So uh, maybe we can work around that. Um, but we also notice that the log files don't have any data or any enter and exit events for this alcove down here or this one here. Um, it might have been because Jason projected the fifth floor onto the fl fourth floor, but I'm really not for sure. So we might have to uh, generate some of our own kind of actions and not just re rely on the log file. We're going to have to do that anyway because well, we're going to have to add on to it because it has to. They have to decide whether or not they're going to wash their hands on the outside. And then once they get into a room, it's going to be like completely um, generated by us. So we'll just have a switch to decide whether or not he washes his hands, and then he'll perform an action on a patient, and then he may or may not wash his hands afterwards and then he'll go back and exit and walk around. Um, okay, here's a shot from the player view. And you can watch a couple characters walking around here. And I'll go 
watch Simon here and chase him down. Still working on the walk cycle, cleaning that up. Okay, so you can see that he cross faded into an idle animation where he's just looking around now. Um, facial bones don't work, so I'm going to have to figure out a workaround if we want to have some sort of emotions. Blinking will be easy. But, um, um, like mouth movements will be difficult. But I did get the, uh, the hand rig all figured out. I had to do something uh, a little bit different than what we had before. Um, because Unity doesn't support what's called an action constraint. But I've figured out a workaround for that. We're also working on the ability to randomly generate characters. I have about five or six characters pre-rendered. Um, once we have Unity Pro working, we can uh, randomly generate uh, brand new characters. But for right now, we just have a couple of these. And they all use the same rig, so they all have access to the same actions. Um, the only difference will be for a female rig, we'll have to use a different skeleton. Um, but I already have a female rig done. And I'll also have to make a couple more uh, female characters. But then once I get those, we'll be able to make things look pretty good. We've also started working on the recording interface. It'll be basically the same as what we had before. It'll uh, be modeled after the iScrub application, and it'll use uh, Unity's GUI layer. Um, I don't have a good demo to show of that right now, but it's not that hard to implement, so hopefully pretty soon 